going to talk a little about layers right now because sometimes I want to draw something in a completely different layer to let me have the flexibility to move it around later on. So I'm going to come over here to the layers palette and hit this button and press new layer. It's going to call the layer by a descriptive name and then press OK. And I want the hat to be below this inking level. Why? Well, because I want the top of SpongeBob to be overlapping the hat. If you want to move them, press down and drag until it becomes a line underneath or on top of another layer. If you drag it and drop it on the same layer, it's going to become a sub-layer of the other layer and that gets complicated, so I don't recommend you do that. Now I'm going to make all of SpongeBob's inks disappear right now and I'm just going to draw on the hat level. If you want to, you can lock that off and just make sure you're working on the hat. I'm going to drag the hat over here. I'm going to press B for brush. I'm going to make sure I'm using my medium brush and give it a little bit extra pressure down at the bottom there. And it comes up to the top, around the bend, and again a little bit extra pressure at the end of the stroke because I like to get that feeling of uh, of weight and depth and that the light isn't reaching it quite as well. And this looks nice and organic. Now the seam on the side, pressing very lightly. The anchor. By the way, this stroke here, I want to give it a little bit of an arc because this whole hat, you know, has dimension to it. So this line, which is horizontal on the hat, will have a little bit of arcing to it. I have the opportunity here to show you the line tool that's right here. This line tool just simply makes straight lines. But here's something that you could see if you just want to make a straight line going straight down. This tool does a nice job of it. And now here's a curved line, but watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to draw from end to end, and I'm going to use this tool, the reshape tool, to click on it and bend it a little bit. And I'm just doing this to see so you can see what it looks like. Now if I want to change this, make it a little bit thicker, I can drag it, I can move it, I can go up to here and press two points to make that thicker. All these lines I'm going to clean up in Photoshop, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the V key, I'm going to select the entire hat and every line that's in it, I'm going to press right click, I'm going to hit group, and now whatever I do to that hat, it is going to move as a group but it's also on its own separate level so I'm going to now lock that level off go back to inking bring back the inking line and if I want to I can just make that hat disappear temporarily I'm gonna press lock and I don't like the yellow it's hard for me to see so I'll just change that to cyan it's a little easier to see and I can make that disappear I can also show you how I use whiteout in this case I'm gonna to go to the SpongeBob inking level and I'm going to choose a medium brush but I'm also going to choose what I call a whiteout brush. And click B and then click whiteout brush. When I click this whiteout brush I get a white line with no fill. And what I can do is color over where that hat intersects but now I've drawn over SpongeBob's line too, so I will select SpongeBob's line. I will right click on it, I will hit arrange, and say bring to front. And that really solves the problem. I'm going to drop out the sketch so that you can see how clear it is right now.